But you had a blood clot? That no, came out I, during the fireworks? No, at Fourth of I, July last year. <laughs> took John and Chris. John and Chris to yeah. see the fireworks down at the beach. That's when it came out? Of the and it was just around then, and that's yeah. when the fireworks went up. Flaming pieces of the yeah. paper would come down raining on the crowd. Yeah. So that was. Nancy said, oh, yeah, this is where you take my kids. Last time you'll ever <laughs> take, them <anywhere. laughs> take them anywhere. I was so angry. <laughs> so did, does that relate to the blood clot? No, no. Oh, but that's okay. about when it started, and I never knew mm -hmm. what it was. I thought it was my shoes were fitting poor or something. I had real cramps in the back Ooh. of my calf. Hey, Nancy. And that's what Could a blood clot you scoot up now that like? I don't have a wire uh, Yeah, lungs. every time you'd walk, your, your blood flow wouldn't be Great. supplying oxygen oh to your... Oh, my gosh. Uh, muscles that were doing the work. So I finally um, went to a doctor, podiatrist, and he says, check me out. He says, I think it's a problem with your circulation. He recommended me to another doctor who I went to see, tested me out, and the first thing he said was to quit smoking, which I did, which is the best thing I've ever done. He said immediately, so I finished whatever cigarettes I had and quit. So I was the best thing that came out of it. He said, you'll never have an operation. There's a 5% chance you'll have an operation on it. Take these pills, quit smoking, and you'll be fine. Well, it got like worse. Blood, blood thinners and stuff? It was a uh, blood, yeah, anticoagulant, actually. And finally, he says, in October, he says, you've got to go back to the, have another test. So I went in in November, had a test done, and they did the operation then put an artificial plastic bypass around it. It was right behind my knee. And that lasted for a while. Big, a lot of pain. Ooh, and like what kind? Like localized? Like a pain in your leg? Yeah, it was scar pain from the scar. And I went through Christmas time and all, and around the first of the year I felt something's not right. I went back to the doctor and he says, bad news. He says, Three o'clock in the afternoon, he says, "Well, I want you in the hospital tonight by six o'clock." Ooh, because it wasn't leaving. It blocked off again, Ooh. and the whole Ooh. artificial part he put in clotted up, and I had like ten percent blood flow to the rest of my leg. Mm. So I was getting no nourishment down there. So they put me in emergency and did the operation again and took part of my vein. You have a extra vein in your leg or something that they put. And it's been fine since then. I started working out at the spa, doing aerobics, yeah. which I was telling Which is you. intense. It's an hour, twice a week. Right, so okay, that is that. Stretching and, and running in yeah, place to music one. that is constant. Get your heartbeat. And it's like 20 minutes, about. right, of constant that, and then yep. 15 stretching, and then all that hip stuff. Right? And then, yeah, yeah and then okay. another 15 I, or 20 of the hips, and then the cool it's down great. the last five yeah. minutes. Yeah, that's a great class. Oh, it's it's the best thing, yeah. and the teacher paid me a great compliment last week. She said, you know, you're the only guy I've ever taught that does it better than I do. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Well, she's yeah. not too good. <laughs> <laughs> she really isn't. She needs work. Yeah, she goes, she'll do like 10 push ups. Oh, you guys finish the rest. I had a bad night last night. <laughs> her neck. And if she does this three or four times a, a week, I mean, in a row, then you know that she's not into doing it too much. I don't think she'll be around next year. Yeah.